Are you drawing or are you just watching? Hey everybody, so I'm going to give this a couple of minutes for people to um, get online. Anybody that's drawing can ask you to pop over to YouTube. YouTube's going to be a better option for you to watch this as it will be um, in HD versus Facebook's degrading of um, quality. So if you want to draw, do pop over. Can't just watch it. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to pop in the cut. The link is just on the chat right now. Hi to everybody that's here. Um, so we will be drawing along live. So I've just popped in the uh, link for YouTube. So I do recommend you go over there. Hey Evie. Um, I don't think I'll have Jess tonight. Um, so I can see the YouTube stream. Um, I can just see the chat window. So if you need to ask anything, Evie, just let me know. Um, let me know that you can see okay. Um, I've also got a wider window, which is really quite nice. You guys can really see it this week, rather than that quite short window that we had. Um, thank you, Millie, for asking. Uh, she had a wonderful time. She screamed getting off the pony, so uh, it went really well. Um, so yeah, she'll be going again next week. Um, I think the monitor's in the bathroom. Huh? The monitor, I think it's in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you're joining to watch, grab yourself a cup of tea. We'll probably start around about 10 past 8, probably a little bit earlier, maybe about just after 5 past. Um, I just want to make sure that everybody is here and ready to go for this draw along. So you've got a, a little bit of time. Um, if you are here to draw along. Uh, okay, Marie, not a problem. Sad to hear you can't draw with us tonight, but that's fine not a problem so I've got three over on YouTube um, so thank you guys um, I hope you're looking forward to part two uh, what we're hoping to do is I'm gonna try and get this face done <laughs> I'm gonna really try to get her done um, and I'm thinking we might stop just below the shoulders I'm not sure if we'll finish the whole thing um, unless my the guys that are drawing would really like me to complete the whole thing then absolutely I will um, but it won't be today. We won't be finishing this today. Um, I'm hoping just to get the um, just the head finished today. So yeah, you've got a couple of minutes. I'm just going to pop some reminders out um, to people um, just to let them know that I am currently live on a couple of the groups that are included in this. Um, but yeah, if you are drawing, do pop over to uh, YouTube. I'll drop the link in again. Anybody that's watching that just wants to watch in, uh, the live stream, go ahead. You're welcome to ask questions. Um, I can see the chat window, um, so please do ask questions as we're going along. Um, or just, yeah, just come in, uh, just watch in, in silence, I guess, I don't know. Um, Can't draw from my life, so we'll stay for a little bit. Then we'll go, okay, really, not a problem. I mean, you don't have to leave. You're welcome to stay for as long as you wish. I'm not gonna tell people to go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you are drawing, do pop to YouTube. We've got four on YouTube at the moment. I'm gonna pop the link in again. Um, I need to pop that link onto my groups as well. So I've had a very, very busy day today. I've actually had a whole day without my phone, apart from very early this morning. So it was quite refreshing. Just grab that link. Nope, I actually, oh, I can pin that comment. Oh, fab, yeah, I'll pin the comment. So that should just stick right there. Oh, look, there's hearts coming in and everything, fantastic. Um, so yeah, if you are drawing, do pop to YouTube. The link is now um, pinned. 
<laughs> fair enough, really not a problem. <laughs> um, Evie, how's the quality your end? Because you're the only person that's commenting on YouTube, which is fine. And um, we just want to make sure that quality looks good for you. Don't forget to pop it into 10, uh, 1080p um, over on YouTube, that's full HD. Um, that's what the camera is currently um, shooting in. Oh, hey Fern, I can see that you just liked the stream. Thank you so much. Um, I have this like little mini feed, so it kind of gives me like tiny weeny updates occasionally. So I can see a couple of things. Hey Deborah. Oh, an equestrian center is like the feed. Thank you. <laughs> So those that don't know me, um, my name is Rachel, um, as you know, because you follow my Facebook page. Um, and I've been drawing now for two years. I'm at a point now where I would really like to go more into my teaching side and teach people how to draw just like me. Hey Ginny, nice to see you. Um, so I opened up my Patreon channel in December um, and I started to bring these live draws in last week. Um, so they're gonna be bi-weekly. Um, providing I haven't got a lot of stuff on um, so I'll try and ensure that events are set up in place so guys can see it so the, the live draws will be free uh, there will be a live draw for my patrons only at some point I will fit you guys in not, to, not don't worry about it it's coming very soon um, I've just my whole plan this year is not to reduce my commissions as much I mean not to like stop them I'm going to reduce them down take on less a month so I can focus on that teaching so I want those that are learning from me to learn um, more intensely if you like so there'll be more things for those people to see hi as uh, Ian thank you for joining thanks for the likes Mill Millie that's really great great Evie thank you for just letting me know how the quality looked um, so if you're drawing do pop to YouTube still only three watching on YouTube so I'll probably get started uh, three minutes I'll get started with the drawing um, so yeah, if you're drawing, do pop to YouTube. Um, it's just easier with the quality. Um, just quickly go through the materials. I've got 2H, 2B, 4B pencils. I've got the uh, smallest blending stump, uh, one and two. I've got my mono eraser. I've got my um, putty eraser as well. Oh, okay, thank you, Millie. It was just like a habit then. Um, and I've got my paintbrush so I don't actually um, rub my hands all over the page. Uh, and yeah, just give it another minute or so and then we'll get going. So I thought we'd pick, oh I picked this little bunny because I thought it would be easy. And um, we have got quite a bit of nice fluffy hair to go through now, um, which I'm looking forward to. Um, those that already work on my Patreon channel will already know how to do that, um, but obviously it's always nice to go through it. Um, so yeah, if you're drawing, do go to YouTube, it's in the pinned comments, so do go click on that and um, go straight over to YouTube, it's just better quality for you guys. I'm just going to run some checks quickly and make sure that we're all good to go. Yeah, we're looking good. I'll close down Facebook and I'll just hold it out here. So it says I've got 10 views. I think it's more, my window doesn't um, update quickly. Okay, what I think we'll do is we'll get going um, and those that I'm gonna draw along with me later on can just check my notifications. No, we're good. Okay, right, let's get our pencils ready. So we're gonna start off with our 2B uh, straight away. We did actually start a little bit of the head um, in the last stream. Um, and what we're gonna do is gonna look at this fur direction is we're gonna come down the left-hand side of the little bunny's face. Uh, I'm right-handed, so I like to ensure that I don't, um, I go down the left side first, then I come down to the middle and then on to the right. Um, so I find that the easiest way to work. Um, so that's what we'll end up doing. So we'll finish off this little tiny section that we started last time. So you wanna get a nice clean edge to your mono eraser, get that ready for this next step. And just give mine a quick clean. Okay, so let's go with our nice sharp 2H pencil uh, and we're gonna work 
our way down. So if you're looking at that um, hair direction, the hair is actually curving over the head. And this is how you're gonna create really easy hair, like thick hair without a lot of effort. It's all about how we place those shadows and how we use that little mono eraser that we've got. We're gonna put some nice strokes of the pencil down up to the center of the head and then the hair's gonna actually change just ever so slightly. And don't worry if you're blending into that ear there, we'll use our mono for this. But what we need first is a bit of shadow and graphite down. Will you do a background? No, we won't be doing a background. In graphite, it's um, it's good for really light color animals to do backgrounds because then you can add like the wispy hairs going around uh, the head and the ears and things like that. But generally, my clients don't ask for backgrounds. Um, so I guess it, in a way, it's a good way to get into you know, drawing your animals is just going for those nice clean backgrounds. But sometimes a background can really detract from the animal and the subject itself. If you think your little portrait of Ben that I drew, if I had a background on that, would you find that your eyes would be more drawn to that than him because the space is so much bigger and more filled in? And that's kind of how I look at it. But if a client wants a background, then I'd certainly look at doing it. Now as we're coming down towards this eye, the hair's actually gonna curve like this. I'm just gonna put these lines down so you can see. So then they, they, they curve under. And then they curve back over. Hi to anyone that's just watching. Um, if you've got any questions, I will pick them up every, uh, every so often that I look at the screen. So please feel free. Those that are drawing on YouTube, just um, drop your question in and I'll try and pick it up as quickly as I can. If you're here to draw, pop to YouTube. It's in the pinned comment. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth that in just a little bit. I don't really want really harsh lines. I want to get that shadow down. And the guys that are actually drawing right now, they're following along, so they're following exactly what I'm doing. So we're really curving over here, guys. Really curving our pencils. And this looks like a top eyelid of little bunny. And just slowly matching in the section here. And then the hair is actually curving under quite quickly. Now I'm gonna really soften this down because it is very, very um, gentle hair here. If you like, if you're looking at it, it looks very, very soft. So let's give that a really good smoothing. Follow the direction as you're smoothing, so make sure you're following how that pencil went down. That's really important. And we are really gonna lighten this up shortly. Just you need that tiny bit of contrast now and again. Okay. And those that are watching that have never drawn before, they might think, well, why don't you just fill in all that pencil gap? Why don't you just color it in, so to speak? Would it be quicker? And it probably would be quicker. The reason we do little lines is you actually create hair. You create a pattern. We 
I always say it to all of my students, hair is not, or fur is not uniform. So the little lines that you put down, uh, it's fine for them to be a bit fly away. It's fine for them to be going off in different directions. But when you do such a uniformed um, area, so you know the hairs just there's no flyaway hairs and there's no nothing there, you actually get almost like a cartoony effect, which is not what you want to do. You want to get yourself out of that habit. Still using the two H here, guys. Giving that a nice little smooth in. Oh, do you know what I realised? I'm not recording, so I'm just going to hit the record. There we go. Okay. So I've just hit the record button. Um, anybody that's just joined, um, I'm going to go back over this very shortly so you'll be able to catch up. So just once I've gone back over it, just give it a quick pause and then catch up. So the hair is um, curving under here and then it curves over the top of the head and that is literally all we've done so far. So curve it under till about here and then curve it over the top. So give that a pause and just catch up. We're only on the first layer so I think YouTube records this anyway, but just in case. The bunny looks a little bit evil at the moment. So we will be working till about half nine, same as last time. I thought that ended on quite a good note, or a good time I think. Okay, so again, I'm going to give that a little bit of a smooth in. I'm going to switch over to the 2B pencil now. And again, I'm just working on, there's um, a little bit of a shadow here, just where this top eyelid sits in. So we're just working on that little section at the moment. One second. At the moment it's going to look a little bit disjointed I guess. And then we're just, again, we've got still with the 2B here. So let me just plug my laptop in. I think the charger's in that top. In one of the drawers. Thank you. <laughs> so it's just going to jump a little bit just for a moment he was just plugging my laptop in because it was something I oversighted let's give that a really good smooth in what we also need to do with our 2B pencil is just this edge yes this edge of the ear as well. We just need to just add a little bit of contrast. So stick with that 2B and let's just add a tiny bit of contrast here. Hi to anybody that's just joined. Um, you're welcome to stay, ask any questions. Um, and we'll pick them up. Currently live, Facebook and YouTube. YouTube for drawers. Don't know if anybody's actually on um, Facebook drawing. 
doesn't actually tell me. There we go. I just wanted to just add that tiny bit of contrast here because obviously this head is actually going to be really light once we're done with it. I'm going to go back to our, no, yes, I'm going to go back to our 2H and just add a little bit more detail here and there. And then where we've curved up here, the hair actually quickly changes to the going downwards towards the cheek. So we've got hair that's going to come out and over. Now I've got quite thick reference lines, so I'm actually going to just dab that away with my mono so I can still just about see it, but I don't want it. And these hair, this hair here is very long, so our pencil strokes are going to be a little bit longer now. And you want a nice light hand. really go over it so I'm going to give that a nice smooth in I'm actually going to let almost the blending stump take over just on the edge there because that's actually going to create a tiny bit of like fluffiness very easily. I'm going to go for the 2B and just, just touch this up a little bit more. And then this section here is actually a uh, top eyelid, so we don't really want to lose that depth just coming over here. We kind of want to keep that there, but we will come to it. So we're going to switch to the trusty mono eraser. Now this is where you guys are going to have a little bit of free reign with how you create this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick the hair up into the ear. I'm going to spin my mono around and when it stops taking any of this hair out or this colour out, you're going to clean it. The hair is it's flicking up. You'll start to notice that it won't take a lot of graphite once it's dirty. And then I'm going to, like I did with my pencil, really nice thin lines. But you will constantly clean your mono. Following that same hair direction. As I said earlier, hair isn't uniform, it crosses over each other, goes in opposite directions. Some 
hairs are a little bit longer in places. Remember, try not to use your hands to brush off the, the edges or the rubber markings. Your hands will put oils on your paper and Bristol board does not like that. Those that are on Patreon, I do have a whole, uh, well I say a whole tutorial, about a 50 minute explanation about fingerprints on Bristol board and how to try and avoid them. Because that, that stuff is difficult. Now this little area above the eye, we've got some much longer hairs. What I'll do is I'm going to go for my 2H pencil and I'm just going to cut them in so you can see them. The same. And then with a 2B, I'm going to go around these markings that I've put down on that ear. So again, they, they stand out. Take your time with that. Now I have been looking at a new tool for you guys to work with, which is an indentation tool. You'll hear all about it. You'll see me have a little go on our line tutorial that's coming up on the 5th of March, um, which it didn't work. So I'm currently working and learning how to use it and this is be fantastic for that tool. Um, so as soon as I've uh, done plenty of practice, I will do a little video on how to use it. At the moment, I've got no clue. Still with the 2B here. Just very, very lightly with this 2B, just creating some of these hairs. I'm going to go for that 2H pencil now. guys are okay that are drawing do you need me to slow down a little bit are we good I'm going to use the 2H now I'm going to go within the eye and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the small circling if you need me to slow down guys you just let me know if you can So we're just going to match that graphite that's that we put in just a little bit earlier. Okay, I'm going to smooth that in. I'm going to switch to 2B now. Um, we've got a little bit of a semi, uh, like a half moon here. So it's almost like this joins up and over. So just make sure you create just a little curve on, a, on your line there. All the way around to the edge of this eye. Okay, let's do the fun part of our drawing. So we're going to leave 
what is effectively the white bit um, and we're going to focus on the part underneath so we're going to do our circling the circling is going to create that natural look for an eye it's going to create a roundness uh, that would take a very long time for you to create just with lines I'm going to make a little step there in the eye and continue with that circling and you can see that it's round Now this little bottom of the eye is actually wrong so it actually comes under a little bit before it goes into this little half moon shape there in the corner. Um, so just slightly change your line art just ever so slightly and just allow the eye to come under it just that little bit there. Now with your blending stumps you're going to really press in that graphite really push that into the paper careful not to come out of the area if you can and if you do just then just I have just myself just a very tiny bit just clean it up just that tiny tiny bit that you need and then I'm going to ask you to switch to your 2B make sure that this line on the left side is still round I just slightly lost it okay and do the circling again now it's very might be very difficult for you to see but just at the bottom here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little moon or a little circle about there can you see that now that underneath there this almost making like a an egg shape is actually that little bit lighter than this part so what I'm going to ask you to do is create that little area which I wouldn't have been able to see under my projector nor under my tablet it's only because I'm really zoomed in here I can just see that there is a slight deviation in the shadowing same with just the corner there's a tiny 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 section in the corner can you guys see that's a kind of mimic what I've just done there and just leave them that color just for now and we're going to work on the rest of it keep doing your circles don't press too hard with oh, I've just gone off the line just that little bit um, because what you'll get is you'll get this shine rather than um, it'll fill in too quickly and we can really make this dark and the shine we don't really want that just yet we want that little bit more in first so again just go over it lightly again as I said it's only slightly lighter so we will need to bring that down. So I'm going to use my mono, not my mono, sorry, my blending stump. And I'm actually going to, still doing the circling, but also pushing in. To that area below as well. Okay, I'm going to go back again with the 2B. I'm going to again do what we've just done. Because what you'll find is your blending stick's going to take quite a bit away each time balance you're going to get a really lovely natural shine and it is going to get darker each time that pencil goes down it's just going to take a little bit away each time you can clean your um, blending stumps Okay, now with my 2B, I'm actually going to come around the edge of the eye, just sharpening it up a little bit. And 
now I'm going to switch to the 4B. Now with your 2B, because we've just gone in with our 4B, we need to go and go over this section here. And what we're going to do is we're going to match a little bit of the same depth and then just slightly have it lighter coming towards this edge. The same on this side. But the corner, the edge of the eye is little bit darker you guys keeping up okay okay I'm gonna give this a smooth in I'm gonna be a bit more gentle now still gonna try and push that graphite in graphite in and create a shine. What you will notice is you've got a graduation now of the graphite, so you've got a light zone going into dark. So go with your 4B very lightly. Now, with the dirty end of your blending stump, now I'm going to dab it into the section above but there is a small light zone just in this by this step with our 2B going to create little pockets. Use your blunt end of your pencil just to create little pockets of detail in the eye. Watch that little tiny step. And then with your edge Make sure you graduate that graphite up into the little eyebrow, little eyelid. So, going to give this, I'm going to use the clean end, just give this another gentle smooth, back with that 2B, just creating a bit of random graphite bits and I'm also going to dab in our mono like so. And I think that will do for the eye. I don't think it needs anything more because once we anchor it in, it's going to look fantastic. The hair is coming out of the eye like so. Back with our 2H pencil. Don't worry about that reference line. If it's just as fine, finely drawn as mine, you can leave it in because you can just smooth that in instead. If it's a little bit, um, a little bit dark, just give that a rub out. Just a very gentle rub out. 
you want to leave a very small gap between the hair and the eye, a little eyelid there. into there and then what we're going to do give this a smoothing a little bit more Our 2B. Got a deeper mark in here. And this little bunny, I think it's a little cream and brown one. Very cute. Just creating that little mark in there. I'm going to go for the 2H pencil. It's really curving out and over here. Imagine there being a bone about there and the hair is really coming up and then over it. That's what you want to achieve here. Smooth down, just gentle smooth in. Still with the 2H. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to the 2B. I'm just gonna just darken this a little bit more. I feel like I've been a little bit light. So I'm a very light-handed you know, light drawer. Um, so you'll find that all my work is quite light um, for quite some time before I put my brave pants on and then make it darker. Um, I'm definitely one that doesn't like to make mistakes. So I like to give myself a lot of wriggle room in case I do, which I do make mistakes. You know, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. definitely need to make some nice long hairs with this bit now. Okay, so we're going to use our mono and we're going to draw in some of those hairs again. We may have lost, we haven't actually put in yet maybe. Evie, is it just you drawing tonight or is your, I think you said your sister was giving it a go? Or giving Meg a go? Remember to keep your mono clean, as clean as you can.
I'm going to go for again the 2H pencil. I'm going to carry on down that little bunny's head. Oh, fair enough, Evie. Well, it'd be recorded if she wanted to give it a go. Now, this would, um, one of um, my followers before asked me about a background. This actually would do well with a background, like a dark background, so then you can actually put in all the light hairs. So if I was, if this was a like a, a white bunny, I'd be looking for the deepest point, which would be the eye, probably part of the ear, and I'd really um, accentuate it. I really would make it very obvious. It's very very dark in that zone. So then when you draw the rest of the bunny, you'll be able to, your brain will tell you that you'll draw, you can, you're looking at a white rabbit. And that's how I do all my grey horse portraits, is I find that darkest point and I really make sure you know it's dark. Still with the 2H pencil. So, and this little area here, the hair is actually going to come, it's coming up towards the eye we've got a couple of strands doing that before it actually changes and goes the opposite way it's just a very smug before it like joins up with all of this you do have that different little shape there and it's the same coming down now I've got a reference line here this reference line is not needed Oop. so it can go And then the hair is going to start heading towards this edge. And we've got a mix of long and short hairs here. Just want to say a very quick hi to everybody drawing this not on the live. Hi Robert, thank you for joining. Um, let me know how you guys get on with uh, your little bunny drawing, the ones that are doing this without me live. I hope you enjoy it. Stay with that 2H pencil, guys. And you see just how, where we changed that hair direction here, you created a, a, a thick layer of fur without really trying. If any of my followers are not drawing and just popping by to say hi, do say hi. You're welcome to ask me questions, your chance to catch me live. I'm just using the blunt end of my 2H here and I'm just creating little pockets of shadow, just little tiny pockets. 
following that hair direction, that hair direction is so important. Gonna smooth that in. Use the dirty side, I think. I'm gonna use the mono and we're gonna make some long, nice long hairs. Following what we've just done. Remember, hair isn't uniform, so don't worry how it looks. You can make it really gentle just by using your blending stick and just smoothing in some of your harsher lines. Like I've got a harsh line here, and I can just, just gently smooth that in. You don't really want, with this little rabbit, you don't really want really harsh lines. You want the person to be looking at the drawing and go, wow, that looks really, you know, I feel like I could touch that fur and it'd be really lovely. So I'm gonna go for our 2H pencil again. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna work down the front part of the eye. So if I just map out the hair for you, um, we've got hair that's coming up and over towards the other side. We've got hair coming down the head like so. like that. So that's what we're going to do. We've got a little bit of hair that's curving over to the opposite direction, just a little bit. Mostly the hair is curving in towards the nose. So I'm just going to give that a smooth in straight away, following that hair direction, staying with the 2H pencil. Now we need to make this eye look a little bit more anchor to the head. So with your 2H, you're going to make a tiny weeny gap between your pencil work and the, the eyeball itself, or the edge of the eye there, and just create that small section. So you're basically telling the person this is the eye, like the corner of the eye. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to use the 2B. Actually, I'm just going to dab that away. So I've just really put a harsh line down. But I'm going to go straight for the 2B instead. I'm going to follow that up and make sure that even the hair coming over this side has a shadow. Now I'm going to smooth this in. 
And what I think my issue here is I've got a line going around the edge of my eye that is too dark in comparison to the rest and it was just making it look a bit cartoony. Yeah, it's a bit better. Still with this 2B pencil. Let your dirty blending stump just take the shine off that. Go back to your 2H. Here's me thinking we could probably get this whole head done in this session. <laughs> we definitely can't. What I'll do is I'll just speed up the process just a little bit. Now you see I haven't gone right up to this line yet. And that's because the hair changes direction. So what I would like to do is I'd like to get this part of the head finished. So the hair on this side, we're actually curving over. I uh, put really harsh lines here. I'm going to get rid of them. And then the hair curves to the middle, like so, and then curves back over. We cur we're actually curving quite harshly there. So, I'm just going to get rid of those little lines that I just showed you to map where the hair is going just because they're a little bit too tough and I'm going to get rid of my, a bit of my line art there because it's not needed. I've actually let my 2H go quite blunt. And this area at this top corner is actually not very clear. It's not very um, detailed, it's not in focus. So um, I'm not worrying about it, basically. I'm still following the hair, I can still see where the hair's sitting. So I'm still following that round. That's still very important. But I'm not worrying too much about it. gonna give this a smooth in still following that hair direction back on the 2H on blunt side just very conscious about this edge here it's very gentle there's only a very small section of that that's really showing and really curving over I'm 
because the hair is actually just looking how it's sitting it's curving over like this so this section is actually quite difficult to see how it's going so I'm only going to do like a small curve up until then and then I'm just going to allow the lines to just naturally meet yeah, it's tricky to see how that's sitting hi to anyone that's watching and not drawing thank you for joining you're welcome to ask any questions you're welcome to sit and watch and see the little bunny come together I've been drawing now just under an hour I've done quite a bit already those that are drawing are over on YouTube I believe you're watching this on catch up hope you're enjoying it just allowing this hair to curve over this a little bit we've got a very dark marking going on here okay and smooth that in very gentle in that corner I'm going to go for our 2B hopefully I'm not rushing too much for you guys what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw in dark lines here and there really too dark to like that. Get rid of that one. Use that. This is the 2B if I didn't already say. This area here, this part of the ear is darker so I'm just going to make that evident that we are darker up there. Again, just using the blunt end of my pencil. And when you're using a blunt area of your pencil, you're actually creating a fuzz, which is very, very helpful for our little bunny. I'm going to go for the sharper side now. nice long hair we will be using our mono we need to make some layers in this going to give some of these lines just a little bit of a smooth. And let's 
just use a little bit of our mono, nice clean edges. Just make some long hairs. I do recommend if you've got one of these monos is getting the refill packs almost straight away because you actually use quite a lot of this for graphite work um, and it actually doesn't last as long as you would think especially when you're constantly cleaning it or if you do a little bit of cutting I think the line tutorial I do a little bit more cutting than clearing out to make it really sharp. And you can see like how fluffy we've made the bunny without a huge amount of work. Given that we haven't, yes, hi, really, <laughs> we have done quite a lot. Um, I will do more live draws of this bunny. I think I'm gonna go for the two B. Um, I was thinking I'd be able to get a lot more of this done, but it's not a problem. So we will do another live draw. Probably do it sometime in the week if I can. I've still work out timings. If not, I will do it on a Saturday. So I know some of my younger followers can take part. Yeah, he's cute and fluffy. And the thing is with the eye is wasn't an area that we spent a lot of time on um we actually didn't need to there wasn't there isn't really a lot there it's not the focus surprisingly the focus of this little bunny is his nose <coughs> give that a smooth in Gonna go for the 2H pencil. I'm really gonna curve this in and over. Again, this is gonna curve right over gonna get rid of my reference line it's so so dark staying with that 2h just realize i've not done any real detail over here so i'll just add in
to anybody that's watching over on Facebook. Good to see you. You're welcome to ask any questions. Uh, I can see what you're saying. I'll just simply sit back and have and enjoy the little lesson. We've done quite a bit with the little bunny. Uh, we've drawn near enough all of his head. So I'm just going to pop in some flyaway ha hairs, guys, just coming off the head of the bunny here. Some very gentle fuzz with your 2H. Same on the other side. So let's get started on the schnoz. Really make sure those pencils are curving in. Staying with that 2H pencil for now. Switch over to your 2B. I really want to have like a separation between the head and this little bit of the nose. This is a clear marking of the animal. Let's move that in. Go again with the 2B. with that 2H pencil. Again, we're really curving our pencils around. Hair's a little bit shorter here. to H. This is just a little bit darker than what we've put down so we will just use our um, 2B a little bit on this area coming underneath. And the hair just gets that little bit longer. Go for like a little tiny bit of medium pressure. Not too, not pressing down too much. Just so you can see that separation.
and you're still curving the same direction underneath. Now switch to your 2V straight away. And just where this line is going towards the nose. But the hair on this small section of line art is just that little bit darker. Like so. And we do have whiskers here, but I always put them in at the end. This is another reason why I'm working on this um, indentation tool, because I want to learn how to use it and utilize it for whiskers. Um, and it really will improve our techniques over on my Patreon channel. Let me just rub this in, and I'll smooth this in. our uh, mono and again we're just going to make some hairs Everywhere, and then we're going to go back in with our tubing. Actually gonna, I'm actually going to actually use our 2H for that area, but we, I do need to put in a little bit more detail than what I have because uh, I've kind of lost it a little bit. It's gone a little bit faint. It could just be where the graphite's cooled down and it's settled to the paper. That does happen. Obviously, as you're using your pencils, uh, you're creating a bit of warmth between your pencil and the paper. So sometimes 
you can look at an area and think, yep, that's done, and then you go back to it and you th or you carry on and then you see it again. And you're like, what? How did that change? And that's exactly what's happened here for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Time seems to have just flown. We've managed to get quite a bit of bunny done, I guess. I think perhaps two more live streams and we'd have them done. Okay, I'm gonna give that smooth in. And if you guys are happy that are drawing right now, you can try and let me know. Um, we could get at least his face done. I'm just gonna use my 2H here, I'm just gonna just bring in some more detail. Just if you can, let me know if you're happy to carry on. If not, um, it'll be in the next live. Probably think it'd take about an extra 15 minutes, maybe. And see if you guys can just try and somehow give me a holler. Uh, I've got my 2H pencil and the hair. I'm going to map out the hair for you guys again. So the hair's going to come out of the, sn the schnoz here, out of the schnoz there going to come right down towards the lip and then it's going to come out in stages going up and out towards the rest of the hair um, over this side the hair comes out and over it actually curves quite over and curves out so you've almost got that sh S shape that we work on quite a lot in our uh, Patreon videos um, and the hair just basically goes off to the right there I think I'll, I'll carry on, assume that you guys want to carry on. I'm going to go with the 2H. Really curve it into the snoz. So we still have that darker area and it's curving out from the nose. you guys that are drawing now and they, you can't stay um, we are where is the recording time um, we're at 20 oh gosh hang on let me see if I can see the recording time oh it doesn't give me the time I was going to give you an opportunity to be able to fast forward this um, for you to catch up on on YouTube unfortunately I can't see a time
I'm going to go right up to the line. I'm not going to get rid of these reference lines just yet. I'm going to give this a smooth in. Again, just flick that hair off. So I've got the rest of our lioness to film this week, or this coming week coming up. And she's nearly done. I think she's going to be done in seven parts. She's fab. Getting that smooth in. Got a really tough reference line again, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to go for the 2B now. I've lost quite a bit of definition already. That's okay. Just grab that back. Again, follow that little pattern, comes out over and then makes this little S shape. going to match this shadow all the way around. It's almost like he's got, he's got a little dinner plate on his face. I did contemplate drawing one of my own rabbits. I actually got a picture of her out. She's really beautiful. And then I decided last minute to go for some random bunny. But I'm not disappointed. It's a very pretty random bunny. Neville and Dwarf, the Rottweilers of the rabbit world. The rabbits are naturally very social creatures. They thrive and you know crave company. They need company. And uh, there is a downside to that is that they also hate each other. <laughs> so when you get a new you you can get the odd bunny that fall in love the moment they meet. The odd one. It's very rare, but it does happen. None of mine have done that. Actually, no, that is a lie. Hazel and Hector did. They pretty much fell in love straight away. The other bunnies did not. And bonding rabbits is not fun. So it's certainly not something I recommend people do. 
always get a lovely bonded pair from a rescue because I tell you it saves you so much hassle. Okay, uh, back on the 2H, we're going to work on the opposite side of the nose now. Really care of that hair coming out of the nose. And just as you get near the bottom, the hair just curves the opposite way. Now I've noticed we've got a tiny weeny marking in the middle. So I've actually left a small gap just in the center of the the nose there if you haven't just dab it out with your rubber oh i didn't realize you got a rabbit evie that's super cute now i've got four um we call them h squad Got Harvey, Herbie, Hector, and Heather. We don't have Hazel anymore, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, they're lovely little things. They're just a nightmare. The hair is quite short and choppy here guys so just watch that. We've got these little marks which we need to bring in just around the edges you can see it's like where um, the hair just cuts in that little bit so what I'm going to do is almost make this marking. So all I've done is just going to go with my 2B just to extend, uh, make that a bit more obvious. Is I'm just making this cutting in. Oh, oh you've got three, yeah. <laughs> they love it, hate. I've got three, yeah, they love each other and then hate each other, it's so weird. Yeah. Rabbit politics, it's blown my mind. When I was very young, I had four rabbits at one stage and we literally <laughs> just threw them in and shut the door and see you tomorrow type of thing. Gosh, you couldn't do that now. Things are so different now. And it's good, you know. I also had them in the tiniest hutch. Again, back when I was younger, it was very normal. So it's nice that, um, you know, husbandry and things have really come on with rabbits. And there's so much information out there. Um, it's almost impossible to fail having a little bunny. The only thing you can fail on is uh, trying to bond them yourself if you've never done it before. Um, it's not for the faint hearted. but we do have a deaf bunny in the group his name is Hector he is very very special bless him just moving that in in the direction we've just gone now I'm just going to use our 2B and we're just going to um, follow the line art with the the lip because what's going to happen is as we start um, adding in this detail we're going to lose this so all you want to do is just mark it out so you know where it's sitting you don't want to lose it like so 
Yeah, rabbits do have quite a strong uh, hierarchy. Usually a female at the top and then a dominant male underneath. So for me, I've got Heather at the top. We call her pig because she is like a pig. Uh, I'm going to go for 2B pencil. And then we've got Harvey underneath Heather. He's very, very confident. He, um, very friendly. Don't really pick up our bunnies though, um, so we just generally leave them, leave them to it, but none of them bite, none of them scratch. They're really nice. And then we've got Herbie and then a little Hector at the bottom. Though Hector, I don't think Hector really understands what's going on in his life, to be fair. I don't think he has many brain cells. He is very, very sweet, but he's, uh, sometimes I wonder if he's all there. He's a funny little bunny. He's very, unfortunately, very easy to startle, which, you know, we obviously don't go in there to upset him on purpose. We go in every day, we clean every day. Obviously, we feed him twice a day. Sometimes we pop out there three times a day. Or if you're with my daughter, we'll go out multiple times a day to see them and feed them. I think they've really enjoyed her coming along because uh, she literally feeds them all the time. Well, you've got three boys. I'm going to smooth this in a minute. I'm just kind of just mapping out the graphite. I'm just popping those hairs in. I think if I was to ever get rabbits again, and if you, obviously these bunnies can be with us for the rest of their lives, but if I was ever to get more, I think I'd really like to get two continental giants. I really would like one of the larger breeds. But I'm very content with what we've got. I'm going to give this a smooth in. switch just for a moment to our 4B pencil. Just for a bit of depth, just around some of this area, just to give us a bit of a helping hand really. I'm going to go for our 2H. Going underneath our cheek here. I'm not going to worry about this uh, reference line. We'll probably use that in the next uh, draw along that we do. Going back for the 2B. I'm just going to. Deepen this down. I think we're nearly there. So we say about five ish minutes just to map out the rest of it, and then we can bring in further detail and further depth in our next live. I just wanted to get that face on. Let's move in, just to make it a bit more softer. Back with that 2B.
we certainly will make this much more darker next time. Go back for your 2H, we'll just do underneath. So I'm doing right hand and left hand curves. So your left over here, your right over here. smooth in there soften this up a little bit I'm gonna go for the 2b just for underneath here just graduate that graphite down we'll just do this nose very quickly and then we'll end it there and then we'll continue our little bunny on the next one so round uh, this little bunny's nose we do have a small area if I just map mine in just heading round the edge just like so and then underneath it's going to be really dark and then obviously above is going to be lighter the hair is very short here, so what we want to do is little tiny weeny lines and the hair is coming round so it's almost like a a moon, not a moon shape, I can't even think what type of shape this would be, um, but it meets into the centre of the nose, almost like you're drawing a star maybe, I, I'm not sure. My brain is blank. It's constantly meeting. Right up until the edge of the snoz there. Okay, I'm actually gonna go straight in with the 2B, just for underneath. I'm going to use a little bit of medium pressure. And then the next session will absolutely anchor this down. for now and just get it on very short little hairs want to make this nose just almost pop out of the hair here. It's a little bit lighter over this side. Obviously we do need to darken up that hair in the next session and so we're really going to make this snoz pop next time. What I wanted to do is 
just almost finished the head. So we've still got a little bit of tidying up to do, we've still got a little bit of detail to do, but he is on. Or she. I'm going to say he. It looks like he. And I think, guys, that are drawing, we'll close it there. That will do for now. You guys have done so, so well. Well done for sticking with it. Obviously, we've gone over, I, like I said, by 20 minutes. Um, I will, it probably won't be next Saturday, probably the Saturday after that we'll continue with this, but I will let you know. So I will pop out an event um, in this next three or four days. Uh, by Monday, at least, you guys will know whether it will be this coming weekend or the following weekend. Um, and it will also go on the Patreon page and also uh, my group sharing page and patreon channel as it is so you guys can see it there but if you need to catch up if you want to go back through some areas where i've gone a little bit quick um just rewind this on youtube and um, so thank you so much for being part of it again today um please 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 those that have drawn do pop me some feedback i'd really appreciate it if you want to send me pictures of your work i would love to see how your live draws look there'd be no negative comments no nothing i would just love to see it so thank you for taking part and I will see you guys again on the next session. Well done and see you guys soon. Take care.